Hi there and welcome back to my channel if you're joining me again or if you're new welcome to you too. Lovely to have your company today. So um, I was really gearing myself up and really hoping that today would be my first ever video of my cash stuffing. Um, I was a little bit disappointed. I had spent the morning doing my housework and cleaning. I went to the local supermarket where they've got a uh, cash point and when I got there it said they only um, would give out a certain denomination they weren't, they weren't going to give out five pound notes today which they normally do so that was my first disappointment and then I could only take out a limited amount of money which um, I don't remember that happening before but maybe I did separate transactions so I came away with less cash than for my whole stuffing and not getting the five pound notes that I really hoped that I was going to get because I need them for the various envelopes, as you can imagine. Aww. So coming home at sulking and I thought, oh, that's annoying. I really wanted to do this today and psyched myself up, hoped, you know, to get it all done. But do you know what? I had to give myself a real pep talk and think, do you know what? I'm just so blessed to be working and to be earning some money and to be able to even have money to cash and to stuff. So, um, yes, and just with the, you know, everything that's going on in the world as well, just really thankful that I have money to spend and I've got money to save. So it's not the end of the world. I can go back tomorrow, get out some more cash Yay! and do my cash stuffing video. It's all good. Welcome, my name's Esther and this is My Money Matters. Instead, I'm going to do the hyper jar stuffing today. So I think my long-term plan was I'm going to hope to stuff my hyper jar and do my challenges and then do my short and long-term sinking funds um, in a separate video. So if you've never heard of hyper jar before, it is a um, app that you can have on your phone and I've just downloaded it on my iPad so that I can do it for videoing and it's similar to the online banking accounts like Monzo and Starling where you put your money into pots or jars or however they describe it on there so because I don't drive I don't have a driving license and I don't have an up-to-date passport it was difficult to be able to get those online banking apps but with Hyperjar you don't need those things and you actually get a um, card that goes with it um, a bit like a direct debit card but you can only have three transactions so the money that comes into the wallet uh, comes is linked to your bank account and then you use that money from here to disperse it into your various jars so as I go into each jar I explain what each of them are for now I've got a few here you can have as many as you like you can name them what you like and you can um, set yourself a goal in each of them and you can colour them differently which I love. <laughs> I'm very excited about the fact that you can colour them differently. The first one I'm going to stuff today is the Amazon jar. So I have an Amazon jar so that I can use it for... Uh, okay, don't do two things at once Esther, this is not going to work. I have an Amazon jar so that when I want to make any Amazon purchases it comes out of here and it doesn't come out of my allowance or my budget. Um, it's nice just to have a separate jar for Amazon purchases. Don't know, it was working for me. And also because we have Prime, I sometimes have to, um, I buy stuff for other members of the family that want me to order things. And so it tends to come out of this Amazon jar without disrupting the rest of my, um, my envelopes or my other jars. Easy peasy, you set up your jars, you click on them and then you can add the money in from your wallet. So it has a couple of pounds left in there and I've just topped it up with 10 pounds. This anniversary jar is for myself and my husband. It's, we're going to be celebrating our 20th anniversary in September. And so this is great to start this now. I've got a few ideas of what I'd like to do. And so I am saving in here for various things. So you will find that some of my jars I also have cash envelopes as well and you think well why on earth are you complicating life and having a hyper jar as well as a cash envelope well there are some things that you can buy from the shop more easily and just hand over the cash and there are some things that you want to purchase online so yes I have two separate jars but I'm managing to keep on top of them and I know what's what 
so it's working for me it might not work for you you might prefer to stick to one method and not to overcomplicate life but it works for me it means I've got some money here for online spending and then I've got some physical spending money as well so this is going to be stuffed with 10 pounds and that's given me a nice balance of that's gone up to 60 pounds in here now which is good okay I've got a chiropractor's appointment coming up so I like to restuff it straight away if I know that I've got a an appointment coming up I like to then put the money in for a few months time I tend to go about every three or four months and um, you might think it's quite cheap for a chiropractor it is because I've got a special concessionary rate um, from when I started years ago and she's kindly kept that for me in order for me to afford going to the chiropractor I feel that going to the chiropractor for me because I have um, back issues is my MOT um, like I said I don't drive um, I paint my own nails so I don't go for a manicure <laughs> and <clears throat> for me it's just yeah you know 30 quid on looking after myself it's not asking a lot Christmas this is one that I do have two charts two jars for <laughs> two cash stuffings for I have a physical one because I you know I tend to go uh, shopping for the stocking fillers and things like that and also if I want to do some online spending now I have actually spent um, some money from this jar already when I was on holiday last week I saw some bits for the boys so I've bought I've um, spent 15 pounds in the jar but this is what it's here for you know if I see stuff throughout the year it comes straight out of the Christmas jar Christmas jar is just going to get five, not 5p, no, it's going to get <laughs> five pounds in this one. So that slowly builds up. Okie doke. Next up is eBay. These are for any eBay purchases. Again, it's quite nice to have a separate wallet for eBay um, because you're dealing with it online, so I might as well have a hyper jar for that. And it's any of those kind of random purchases. I try... I'm really trying my spending at the moment not to just buy things for the sake of it and so it's quite nice just to have a bit stashed away if there's suddenly something that comes up on eBay that I want. So that's got a nice healthy £25 in it. So I'm not going to stuff my phone bill, that's got plenty enough there for this next month so I'm just going to leave that as it is. Then we've got family, friends, food and film. I um, it wouldn't fit in my full title, it's supposed to have the word fun in there somewhere. Um, and this is for any family days out, uh, going out with friends, if we're going out for a meal or drinks, um, any kind of food for snacks if we're having a family film night or that kind of thing, or fun. So anything kind of involving going out or having a uh, meeting up with a friend for a coffee, that kind of thing. So this is going to get more than usual. This is going to get £30. My husband's birthday is coming up in May and I'm thinking I might need to use this a bit more for that. So um, I'm stuffing it with a little bit more this time. Gifts. Again, I'm going to stuff this a bit more because I need to buy some bits and bobs, some gifts for hubby's birthday. I've got a few bits, but I need to buy a few more. So any kind of gift comes out of here. Um mainly birthdays and any other little bits and bobs gifts like I don't know Easter so if I'm going to buy the boys any Easter gifts it will come out of here okay this might sound a bit random I have a glasses um, jar I recently went to the optician and I needed a very small prescription so I'm the very excited new owner of a nice pair of reading glasses and I absolutely love them um, and I had to just pay for that right out of my account so what I thought I would do is pay myself back um, I got them from Specsavers they weren't the cheapest range and they weren't the most expensive but I just thought actually you know that's come straight out of my account and this is a way of me being able to pay myself back for the glasses so you might think I'm a bit crazy doing that, I don't know. Would you do that? You can tell me in the comments below if you'd pay yourself back or whether you just draw a line under it and just forget about it. <laughs> so I'm just slowly building it up, five or at a time. Okay, HMRC help to save. Some of you might not have heard about this scheme that um, HMRC are doing. They're best, they will best explain it to you on the website. So 
if you are on low income and certain benefits, then you can use this scheme, but it's not for everybody. You can save between £1 to £50 a month, and for every pound that you save, they then give you a percentage. So basically, um, yeah, the more you save, the more they'll give you for saving. And you're committed to doing it for four years. You don't have to put in the savings every month, but if you can, it's worthwhile. So you get a bonus after the first two years and then a bonus after the next two years that you've done it. But it's if you haven't heard of it before, look into it, see if you qualify because it's well worth doing. I've already had my first two year bonus um, with them and I like to try and put the maximum amount away. And this is just gonna go to my pension pot. This is sort of long-term savings. Holiday, we've just been on holiday and I've used a lot of money that was in here and it was so worth doing this pot. So now I just wanna gear this up again for longer term for summer holidays and just to generally have money in there for holiday spending and bank holiday coming up and things like that. So today this is just going to get five pounds. Again, we're just gonna build it up slowly. M&D anniversary. So this is my in-laws. They've got a special anniversary coming up here. They'll be celebrating their golden anniversary. And again, I've got a few present ideas and things I'd like to do for them. So I thought, well, again, if I start saving now, come September, I've got some money ready for that spend. So this is going to get the usual five pounds. So my allowance, amazingly, has still got some money left in it. I think because I used a lot of the holiday allowance, um, I didn't have to use my own. So I'm gonna add my usual 30 to this. And I find that that's between this and the cash, it is enough to tie me over. Remember, I have got those separate um, categories like the Amazon and the eBay and the miscellaneous. So it is probably more than 30 I kind of spend, but this is what I like to put in my, for my allowance to keep me going. So I do a prepaid prescription, which means that I can save a lot of money by paying monthly uh, because I get about three or four different kind of med medications. So again, if you haven't heard about prepaid prescription, it's worth looking into because it works out to be about £10.53 or something random like that a month. And it means that you end up long term saving on your prescriptions. So, like I said, I think it's about £10.53 and I'll tell you what I do with the extra pennies. Here we go. So, penny savings. This is anything I tend to round down. After the month is up, I round down my jars and any pennies that are left over. I don't include the pounds, I just do the pennies. And that just goes into a penny savings jar of its own. Ring resize, and it's got rainy because it, it was a rainy day, but I might just change the name of that. So this did start out as a rainy day challenge, just putting money aside, but um, I really wanted to get my wedding ring resize. It's getting too tight for my finger basically. And I got no idea how much it's gonna cost. I used to work um, for a company that was part of a jeweler's and I'm sure it cost quite a bit. I mean, this was years ago. So I'm just gonna to keep topping this up and saving and one of these days I might be able to get my ring resized. So this is just going to get five pounds. Okay, and I think that's it. So side hustle here is money that I've made on eBay, which I've just stashed away into this jar. Um, it did, it was money towards trying to get some new shoes because I was trying to look for some comfy shoes for work. I'm on my feet a lot in the day. And um, I did buy a pair of boots recently, which were only 35, I say only, they were 35 pounds. I was willing to spend, you know, around about the 100 pound mark to get a really decent pair of shoes. But a lot of the shops now have sandals and things like that in, which I wasn't looking for. So I'm just going to let that sit there and this money kind of goes towards any special buys, things which are kind of not in, that I've not um, catered for or allowed for in my other allowance. So that's my hyper jar. I love the hyper jar. Um, it takes a little while to get used to, but once you get used to it, it's um, it works for me anyway. It's, it's nice when you're out and about, if you still want to use a card, you can just select which jar your money's coming out from and it's all there set for you. 
So thank you so much for joining me today for my Hyperjar stuffing. I hope it won't be long before you'll be able to see my cash, agile physical cash stuffing. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I am doing a special YouTube money challenge and I cannot believe how much I'm going to stuff in that challenge already. So thank you so, so much if, for those of you who have subscribed and who have given me thumbs up because it's all pennies towards that challenge. And I'm thinking with that challenge that I'll be doing a giveaway and put that money towards some things to give back to those of you who've been so supportive already. Just have yourself a fantastic day, take care and God bless and hopefully I'll catch you next time on My Money Matters. Take care, bye for now.